Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I'm super excited to have you joining me for today's project. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, we're gonna be working on a gallery wall at the top of my stairs. I've got a really nice landing up there with a beautiful buffet that has been in my husband's family for almost his entire life. Uh, it was passed on to us, so we're giving it a nice refresh with some paint, and we're gonna be doing a beautiful gallery wall. I'm getting started by unpacking these beautiful frames I got on Amazon and flipping through the pictures that I chose. I chose some of my absolute favorite memories over the last year, our trip to Disney World, um, time with cousins, and our travels across the country. We've had you know, quite a few road trips over the last um, two years. So definitely looking forward to having these memories on the wall. It's a great place for my kiddos to see them every day and a nice place for us to see them as well because you can see this part of the house from the bottom of the stairs. So I'm getting started by unpacking all of the picture frames. Now, like I said, I purchased these on Amazon and I'll have them um, in the description box down below for you. What I liked about these uh, was a couple of things. Number one, I was looking for a wooden frame. I would have preferred to have them a more natural oak color versus this walnut oak. However, they are at the top of the stairs and so there's carpet up there and so they're not clashing with um, existing wood like on the floor or anything like that. So I was okay with it. I liked the warmth that it brought. Um, I also love that the glass portion of these is actually plastic. And you know, if you want a more elevated look, you definitely probably wanna go with um, the glass. However, for me, being that these are at the top of the stairs, my children's bedrooms are upstairs, I wanted something that I didn't have to worry about, you know, breaking if it fell off the wall. Uh, because I am planning to hang these with command strips and those can come off like stuff happens right and I didn't want to have to worry about them shattering so definitely went with plastic and finally the cost of them was really really affordable so for one group of them it comes with six and I, it was less than $30 for all six and I bought two sets because I wanted nine and I have two other gallery walls that I want to do in my house so I figured I definitely you know will need to be purchasing more so um, you know I was okay having a couple extra but I am so excited for you to see how this turns out it comes out so cute and I'm just gonna get started by putting all of the pictures into the frames now I just was looking for washi tape because the pictures like just fit in the opening like the matting was perfectly you know eight by eight and so um, I wanted to get them just right now these pictures I printed at Walgreens they were a little bit pricey I'm not gonna lie so one print is $3.99 which doesn't really seem like that much money until <laughs> you purchase a bunch of them. So I did nine, like I said, and it was almost $40 just for the pictures. So, and I went with glossy. If I had done matte, it would have been a little bit more. So keep that in mind. If you have a project like this in mind, um, you know, it can add up, but it was worth it for sure. I like having um, the eight by eight pictures just because you know, I can take really nice curated pictures that I have on my Instagram and um, add them here, you know, onto the wall. So super excited with how this project all came together. I cannot wait for you to see how this looks. So after I had all the pictures in the picture frames, I just laid them out on my table so I could get an idea 
of how I wanted them to go up on the wall. So I had two pictures of um, a swimming pool. I had a couple of pictures that had, you know, some brighter colors like orange and red. And so I wanted to just kind of move them around to make sure I was distributing the colors evenly. And I definitely wanted that um, picture of our entire family at Disney World in the center because it's the only picture that had all of us in it. And so um, I just kind of played with them until I found what I wanted. And then I stacked them one on top of each other in the order that they're gonna go on the wall. So that way it was just gonna be easier when I took them upstairs. And now we're gonna head up and actually start working on the buffet. So here is the top of my stairs. Just a small little hallway, nothing fancy, but we do have this beautiful buffet. Like I said, it's been in my husband's family for a long time. <laughs> it's not an antique or anything. It was just a piece of furniture that was passed down and ended up getting passed to us. And it did have a hutch on it originally, but we didn't have any place in our old house to have a hutch. So we just kept this buffet. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a sturdy, solid piece of wood. So I had no intentions of getting rid of it. However, I did want to give it a refresh. So originally we had painted it this beautiful color. It's called Ballet White by Bear. And it's a really warm, almost pinky toned white. It's beautiful. And I love it. It's the same color as my dining room table. However, it just kind of blends in up here because the carpet is light, the wall is light. Like it, I don't know, it just, I wanted something that was gonna stand out a little bit more. And so um, I decided to paint it. So I'm just starting by filling in the wood. Now, ideally a different kind of wood filler would probably have worked better for these bigger holes. However, this is not like, going to be a statement piece down in my living room. I didn't want to go buy something specific for this. I just wanted to use whatever I had. So I had this um, paint and prime, I think what it is, or prime and paint um, wood filler. It's the same stuff I've used, you know, in the board batten that we've done. And I'm just filling in the holes with my finger and then kind of wiping it off so that I didn't have to do any sanding trying to keep this as low maintenance as possible and um, I think I accomplished that so I'm just filling in the holes because I am putting new hardware on this so it had hardware on it originally um, we took it off when we decided to paint it white and then I never put it back on because I didn't like it and I had intentions of getting new stuff and then we moved so I never really got to finish it. Um, so it actually worked out for me just to fill it up there. And now I'm going to take this plastic. This is the same stuff I used in the kids' bedroom when I just painted their wall. But I'm just taking this plastic, I'm going to open it up and put it here on the carpet. I could have taken this piece downstairs and worked on it in the garage, but it is so heavy. My husband had the hardest time getting this upstairs. I did not want to make him go through that again and there was no way I was going to do it. So I decided to just put it on the plastic, be super duper careful and it worked out perfectly fine. And now it's time to start to paint. So I decided to go with the color Pigeon. It's the color of my front door. And I chose this color because of a couple reasons. Number one, I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's like this beautiful um, gray toned green. And I also loved it because I already had it on hand. <laughs> and I was not um, interested in going to buy brand new paint. I was struggling to decide what color I wanted to do. I thought maybe I wanted like a beige, but then I was like, okay, that can't happen because the walls, it'll just blend in. So, um, and I didn't want to do the same green that I had just done in the bathroom. I had just done blue in the bedroom. So, um, this pigeon color is what we went with. It's kind of right in the middle of a green and a blue. So I, um, I'm gonna be using that. Now this sheen is a little bit different. So it's like, 
when I had them make this, it was for our front door. And so our painters told us to get something in between flat and eggshell or flat and satin. Uh, whatever the two bottom ones are, I always get them confused. But basically, you don't want to have any kind of shine to it. And so um, that's what I got. And so because of that, it you know dries really quickly. It's a very nice flat paint. It doesn't have a lot of shine to it, which is perfect. And it worked out really, really well. It went on super smooth. I did not sand. Again, I was trying to keep this super low maintenance. So I did not sand anything. I purchased this little kit here from uh, Home Depot because I needed the little tray. And so that's what I got. And now I'm just gonna get to painting this bad boy. When I got to the drawers, I thought that I would take them out to paint, but I could not get them out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if maybe they are like screwed in there. I'm not sure, but I couldn't get them out. Danny wasn't home. He was helping his sister at her house. So here I am struggling. Like I am bound and determined to get this drawer out, but I could not get it. So obviously, ideally I would have taken the drawer out and painted it that way, but I could not get that uh, drawer out to save my life. So that's all right. I am just going to paint away here, no big deal, and hope that, you know, it works out. It does in the end.
although I did leave the drawers in the buffet while I was painting, I did decide to take off the doors. There was just no way I was gonna be able to paint around those. So I'm just using a screwdriver to take these off really quickly. And then I'm going to paint them individually and it allowed for me to paint the frame of the door, I'm sorry, of the uh, buffet as well so I know the color is kind of off in these video or in these clips so there's not a ton of natural light in this little hall right here there is that little window but I, it's spring here you guys it's cloudy like every day and so it was really hard to get good lighting so I have the light on and I also had to enhance this video because it was really dark so it may seem like the color looks different, um, you know, depending on the clip, and that's honestly just because of the lighting. Um, I will try to get, you know, as real of a picture or as close of a picture to like the actual color as I can, and I'll try to post it on Instagram. So make sure you're following there. Make sure you're following me there. Sorry, so that you can get, um, you know, a better up close picture of what this color looks like you can also look for it on uh, Pinterest there's tons of pictures of this color it's really pretty the color pigeon is by the brand Pharaoh and ball now um, I don't know where to purchase that paint I get it color matched at Home Depot so if you just tell them the color and the brand they'll be able to color match for you so and as you can see from the shot we use Use this buffet to house all of our board games and then in the drawer um, we have like some pictures and um, you know just some other things that I really should organize I need to figure out what I want to use this space for um, but for now it's just housing our board games which is perfect and um, it also is a great spot for a little lamp for at night because the bathroom is up here so I can put a little lamp on and leave a light on for the kiddos if they need to use the restroom. I have painted a lot of cabinets in my time. <laughs> we painted our entire kitchen back in Las Vegas white. When we purchased our house, it was a new build and it was um, a track home, which basically just means that, you know, you have four models to choose from and you really have very little say in customizing your home. You just get to pick colors and finishes. And when we purchased our home back in 2008, white cabinets were not an option. That's when dark cabinets were really, really popular and um, having a darker kitchen. And so we just went with builder grade and then painted them white ourselves because it wasn't an option for us. So painting the doors when you're painting a cabinet is literally my least favorite thing to do. It takes forever and it's just very tedious. It's the one part I don't really like painting in general. I think I've mentioned that before but painting cabinet doors is probably one of the worst cabinet doors and doors of any kind and um, spindles on a chair. Those are the worst things I, that I've ever had to paint. So um, it has been some time, by the way, I'm not just putting these back on like while they're wet. <laughs> I painted them and then I went and had some lunch. I flipped over some laundry um, while everything dried so then I could go back and put um, a second coat on things. I did put a second coat on the top and sides off camera just because I figured you didn't want to see me paint the same things twice. But I'm going to go ahead and get these back on and then I finish painting up all the other areas, touching it all up, adding an extra coat onto these doors where need be and just touching up any places that look sparse. And um, then after that, I let it dry and when Danny got home, he helped me get the knobs onto the buffet. However, my camera was dead and so I did not charge, sorry, I was charging my battery 
while he was putting those on. But I'm gonna show you an up close of those here in a little bit. I did purchase them at Home Depot. I thought they were gonna be a little more bronzy than they are, so I may paint them, but stay tuned. Um, and now we're just figuring out the spacing for these. So Danny measured out um, the opening of the top of our stairs so that we could center this with that versus centering it with the wall. Because if we centered it between the door frame and the window, it would not be, um, it, it wouldn't be like in the center of the opening for the stairs. So when you looked up, it would look strange. So we wanted it to be right in the middle. So we measured it all out so it could be perfect and got started, but then now it's the next day. <laughs> so I'm showing you my fresh coffee. We gave up because we did not have enough command strips. I was exhausted. Things were getting tricky. I was frustrated and so we, we're done for the day and came back to it. So now I am just adding more command strips to the back of these picture frames. These are the same command strips that I used for um, the pictures in the bathroom and they're designed for hanging pictures. So they've got um, the Velcro so you can take them off um, and you know put them on that way so I'm just gonna add that on here and then how I space these out we did this really simple I'm all about working smarter not harder and so we use Danny's level to be the spacer in between all of the pictures and it ended up working perfectly Once we got all the pictures on the wall, it was time to start decorating. I had this sweet little lamp from Target. I put it in the boys' room. However, they were never using it. They just turn on the light with their fan. And so I brought it out here to use it in this area and I love it. It looks really cute and it adds just the right amount of light, like I said, at night when everybody is in bed and I just wanna leave a little something on for them for the restroom, so it's perfect. And then this sweet little house here with the metal heart is from my mom. She made that. And the and sign is from Home Goods, and the be kind sign is from a friend of mine back in Las Vegas. And then I just had a little pilea plant there that I purchased at Home Depot. And that was it. I didn't want to overload it. So now I'm just going to take a second to vacuum and clean up after my mess and I will show you how it looks in just a second.
and here it is all finished you guys I love this space so much not only do I love the way it looks but I love the sentimental value to all the pictures here is an up close of the hardware that I chose like I said it does have a bronze appearance to it I did think it was going to appear more bronze but it does look a little more silver so I may be adding some paint to that but I just love the way that this all came together it looks really really pretty I love that I can see it from downstairs and I love that my kiddos get to see these pictures every time they come out of their room or they're going up to their rooms this is their space and I wanted it to feel like home to them and the best way to do that is to have pictures of some of our absolute favorite memories here on the wall and I just love it I love the feelings that it invokes and I'm really 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 happy with this so if you enjoyed this video I would love for you to consider giving it a thumbs up I'd love for you to consider subscribing and coming back for more I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and hopefully I will get to see you in another one I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video take care Bye.